everyone. My name is Liz Alper, and I'm honored to serve as a member of the Board of Directors of the Writers Guild of America West. I'm standing on my tiptoes right now because apparently this is not a very short, friendly podium, so please bear with me. For the past 51 days, WGA members have been out on strike against the studios for a contract that will make writing a sustainable career again. Contrary to the public perception, the majority of Hollywood writers have historically been middle class. But when streamers like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, and Apple came into our industry, the studios exploited the changing landscapes of our business to increase their profits at the expense of our livelihoods. Yeah, Boo is right. We are made to write at a breakneck, unsustainable pace, with our pay held hostage for multiple free rewrites so that our employers can pay us as little as possible for the very work that will make them record-breaking profits. The combined revenue of the eight companies at the AMPTP table last year was 1.3 trillion. Oh 1.3 trillion dollars and it would cost them less than a quarter of a single percent to restore sustainability to the writer's career in Hollywood. But what the studios value more than money is power. To allow writers to share in the profits of our work would mean sharing the power the studios hoard so desperately. And to the AMPTP, power is a cause worth fighting for. Employees are not. This tale of the employee working more to get paid less than ever before is the plight of every Hollywood worker now, despite the ever-increasing profits of our studios. That is why all Hollywood unions are standing here today shoulder to shoulder. And just to take a moment, it is, it is pretty fucking cool standing up here in front of and looking at all of these faces here today. We here see the existential crisis that threatens the livelihoods of all Hollywood workers and beyond. When the WGA fights, we do not fight alone. The solidarity and support shown to us by our fellow union members, IATSE, Crafts, and the mother effing Teamsters right over here. The solidarity and support shown to us by them in refusing to cross the picket lines is historic. Yes. 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 Because of them and because of thousands of WGA members who put down our pens on May 2nd, television and film productions across the country have shut down and cost the studios millions as we exert pressure on the studios to come back to the negotiating table. This, this, this solidarity though is bittersweet. We can celebrate now and we are grateful to our union siblings, but we also know that the work and production stoppages have put many crew members, drivers, laborers, actors, and others out of a job and at financial risk. Writers know the stories we create can only be brought to life by the thousands of craftspeople, Teamsters and other workers of Hollywood who are this industry's real heart and soul. There is no Hollywood without you. That is why writers and allies have donated and raised money for the Entertainment Community Fund, which provides emergency financial assistance to those in the entertainment industry regardless of their profession or union affiliation. In May and early June, 2,000 donors raised over $2.5 million in emergency support. For everyone watching at home, following along on Twitter, watching this on TikTok, 
If you have ever wondered how you can support writers on the picket line or workers affected by the ongoing work stoppages, I urge you to go to the Entertainment Community Fund website and make a donation. We are heading into our 51st day on strike. 51 days of our employers choosing to inflict damage instead of ending this strike by negotiating a fair deal. 51 days on the picket line while the eyes of millions worldwide watch how our fight against Wall Street and big tech unfolds, knowing the outcome of this action will be a referendum for industries across the country. Let everyone here and everyone watching see that we, the Writers Guild of America, stand proudly beside our Hollywood sister guilds and unions today. IATSE, give them a cheer. Leona. DGA. AFM. Teamsters. And SAG AFTRA, who sent their negotiating committee. negotiating committee into contract talks with an astounding 98% strike authorization rate. We are here for the sake of the profession we love, the industry we work in, our audiences, our fellow sister unions in Hollywood, and all the workers across America who have been hurt and disenfranchised by Wall Street and big tech. We are here to tell you that we will fight until we get the deal that we all deserve because we here today are the workforce of Hollywood and we will win. <laughs>